Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming another day in the life of a Cambridge University student. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Ellie and I study part three of the Mathematical Tripos at the University of Cambridge, which is basically a fancy way of saying that I study a maths master's. So I'm doing a master's in maths uh, and I did my undergrad at the University of Leeds. So this is me just getting ready for my day. And today I had a full day of library work. I wanted to check out the University of Cambridge's library because I hadn't really been there before. Um, this is just the view from my room and it is honestly so stunning, especially when the weather is nice. Today we had quite a gloomy, dark day. Ever since I've been back from Cambridge, the weather has been literally miserable. I then got changed into my Sydney Sussex gear stash they call it here that is the college i am in at cambridge and i literally love this college so i decided to do a bit of work in the morning before heading to the library because the library opens at nine and i just got some breakfast had some vitamins and worked through an example sheet for dynamics of astrophysical discs which is a module that i'm taking this term and it is one of my favorites it's honestly so cool i've been taking a few more astrophysics modules this term and yeah it's like one of the coolest modules it's, it's basically looking at discs in you know in the solar system so an example would be saturn's rings or protoplanetary discs and it's looking at the maths behind that. So there's a bit of fluid dynamics in there. It follows on a little bit from, well, it follows on a lot from astrophysical fluid dynamics. But there's also just a lot of cool physics in there. And the, it overlaps with a few of my other modules this term, which is really, really cool. So I was just doing an example sheet. The first part of this question was literally just to verify something. Got it done. I was really happy with that. This was me just checking my laptop was fully charged because where I was going to study at the library, I didn't know whether there would be many plug sockets and... Yeah, there weren't, so it was quite it was quite lucky that I actually charged my iPad and my laptop up fully. Uh, and this was just me getting ready, packing my bag, ready to head to the library. So today is just more example sheet work, a few lectures I had to go over, and just a general day of a math student, I guess. It's, it's quite filled with uh, a lot of example sheets. So this is the view from my accommodation. We have our shield on some of the glass in the accommodation, and it's quite cool just seeing it. Yeah, this is another video. I'm sure those of you that have watched my videos before have seen this many times. <laughs> I've filmed this so many times, this view from the accommodation. But that is my college, Sydney Sussex, and it was quite a wet and miserable day. But the college still stands out and is still so pretty. And I walked to meet my friend Keshav. This was Sydney Sussex Chapel Court, and it is so pretty. This was Keshav and we decided to walk to the library. The library is about a 10 minute, maybe 15 minute walk away from where I live. So it's not too far, but in the rain it felt like it was a little bit longer. Um, but one thing that's really good about my college is that it's very central. So it's central to literally everything. You just step out of Sydney, Sussex gates, front gates, and you're on, you know, you're in the middle, middle of Cambridge next to a Sainsbury's, which is <laughs> always handy. So this is us walking over the steep hill as cyclists call it and it was really nice just walking through I think one of the things that I really like about Cambridge is how much greenery there is <laughs> um, coming from someone who lives in the middle of nowhere really it's always nice to be surrounded by greenery so this is the university library it is huge it makes you feel so small when you stand next to it but it's home to eight million books which is quite insane really um and yeah, it's, it's quite surreal going in there when it's so huge. It kind of looks a little bit like a prison. I'm sure that's not the vibe they're going for, but um, it's, it's, a quite, it's quite daunting when you, when you stood outside, but it's really nice and cosy inside, as you can see. So the thing with it having so many books is there's not a lot of study spaces. Um, obviously, it's a library. You know, libraries host books, of course. Um, so it's hard to find a good study spot, whereas because I went with Keshav, my friend from Sydney, who also goes to Sydney, Sussex, who you may have seen in some of my Instagram stories or my YouTube videos before. He has been here before and found the perfect study spot, which was a bit of a walk through lots and lots of books. As you can see, you can you can tell the library is home to, <laughs> to a lot of books. So I really like the university library. The only downside is you can't drink or take food in um, and you're not allowed a pen. So it's kind of hard to do maths. It's okay if you've got electronics, but other than that, it's, it's quite difficult. So that's the only downside to it. However, we arrived at 
our study spot and it is so cool it's one of my favorite places in the university library and it's just got such a nice warm feel to it and also quite a studious feel you almost feel like you you have to you're almost obliged to do work which is always a good thing um, especially when you're doing an intense masters like mine so I did some filming before I sat down and did my work so today I was just working through the example sheet as I said what I did this morning so for dynamics of astrophysical disks and the way that example sheets work in part three is nothing is assessed so you essentially don't have to do the example sheets if you don't want to that you don't need to submit them but some lecturers will say you can submit certain questions and I will mark them so for this module my lecturer will mark two of the questions out of the example sheet so I managed to do the two questions that he wanted to submit and I also managed to do the rest of the example sheet as well and this was quite cool we were sat at an 18th century table which was quite surreal so this is me showing you my study focus playlist which is what I have on my Spotify the link to my Spotify is, is in the description box if you're interested but there's random things on there so we had a really really productive morning I managed to get through loads of the example sheet and we headed back for college lunch so we headed back to college to get some college lunch all of the colleges are catered so you're able to get lunch within your college and as I said Sydney is literally in the centre of Cambridge as you can see here so it's not a too it's not too far a walk away from everything here was lunch which doesn't look particularly appetizing but it was actually really nice um sydney food always doesn't never looks appetizing but always tastes amazing and this was the hall we get to sit in the hall at lunch uh, and sometimes at dinner depending on whether they have formals but this is where formals happen some of my other friends joined so morgan eleanor cumran and saeed and it's nice just to be back again with everybody once we had lunch we headed back to the library i was trying to be subtle about recording because there were people working but we headed back to a new part of the library which actually had plug sockets so that was great i could charge my my laptop and then everybody left so i was alone in the library which was good i managed to get a lot of work done the only downside as i said is that there's no food or drink allowed in the library which is a bit of a downside but it also means you're obliged to take breaks to go you know go get a drink which is always nice because it means you actually have a break away from studying I then decided to catch up on a few lectures and just review some of the material before. So this is for my extrasolar planets, atmospheres and interiors lecture. Uh, it's one of the modules that I'm really, really enjoying this term, along with dynamics of astrophysical disks. So I basically just caught up on this lecture, made a few notes, and the module itself basically looks at, as you can guess with the title of the, the module, extrasolar planet. And we look at how they're detected and atmospheric Kind of, we've been looking at the atmospheres and, and how you detect certain chemicals in atmospheres and the processes that go on, which has been really, really cool. That was a really productive afternoon. I closed my laptop, I managed to finish the example sheet that I needed to do and watch a lecture, and then Keshav and I decided to head back to get Sydney dinner. So this is where you store your bags and everything as part of the library. You can't take your bags in at the university library. You have to sort them in lockers and you're only allowed to take a laptop uh, and a pencil and any other electronics you have uh, and, and a small camera, which you are allowed. So that's something I'm adjusting to, not having my pencil case with, with pens and, and things. Um, so that was us done at the university library. The library opens around nine o'clock and closes around seven. It does vary and it is closed on Sundays. So it's one of those where you have to time your revision with the opening and closing hours of the library. But we headed back and it's such a nice walk back, even when it's getting dark or even when it is dark. Cambridge is definitely one of those cities where you just feel safe. Uh, and it's really nice to be able to walk back, you know, see all the greenery and stuff and just feel safe, even if you are on your own. And that's what I like so much about Cambridge is there's just such a homely feel to it. And everybody's so lovely and the scenery and everything it's just so surreal you know i walk by so many colleges and and learn such amazing maths and i kind of just have to pinch myself that i'm actually at cambridge and learning such incredible stuff and being surrounded by such incredible people and you know the people that have studied here in the past it's it's definitely so surreal uh, and i think coming back to cambridge has made me realize that even more so and to cherish everything you know, cherish every memory and, and everything that I learn. So we got back into the city, um, which is literally a five minute walk away from the library. So this is us in the centre of Cambridge. It's very pretty. It's always nice when it's kind of getting dark 
Oh, it's gloomy and all the light, street lights are lit. It's really pretty. It was so pretty over Christmas as well. I literally loved Christmas here in Cambridge. It was just so, so cool. So this is us walking back. A bit of a wet and miserable day, but a really productive day, which I was really happy with. So we're back at Sydney and we got back a little bit early. So we decided to play a game of foosball before we went for dinner because dinner opened at quarter to six, I believe, and we were there five minutes earlier than that. Um, so this we were in the MCR here and the MCR is the postgraduate common room. Although it is a common room, it's mainly used for studying at the moment. So then we had our dinner, which doesn't look particularly appetising. And this is the one meal at Sydney that I haven't actually enjoyed, which is saying something. So that's good. Every meal I've had at Sydney, I absolutely love, except this one, sadly. But either way, it's healthy and it was good food. Uh, and then we headed back to the MCR uh, and I decided to watch another lecture, catch up on a few lectures, do some review some material. So this was me catching up on the dynamics of astrophysical disk lecture, which, as I said, is one of the coolest modules that I'm learning this term. There is definitely a follow on with fluid dynamics, uh, astrophysical fluid dynamics, which I did in Michaelmas term. And that was really cool. I really, really enjoyed that. Whereas this has a hint of fluid dynamics in there in the sense that they're solving lots of equations of motion uh, and energy and, and things like that. Um, but there is definitely more dynamics in it. So it's a nice kind of crossover. I had a food break, some melon and grapes, and then I got back to doing some more of the lecture. So in the lecture, sometimes he'll pause and say, I want you to work this out yourself. You know, I'm, I'm skipping a few steps here, so I'll just pause the video, figure it out for myself, write that in my lecture notes so that when it comes back to re review my lecture notes, I know exactly where that's come from. And that's something I do with a lot of my lecturers too. So Adrian then joined, who is another postgraduate, and this was the lecture really, this was what I'd learned in that lecture. It probably makes no sense to anybody that's watching if you haven't got the previous few slides, but it was basically just looking at how a planet, say, would interact uh, in, a, in an astrophysical disk, so the moons in Saturn's ring. And then Eleanor and her boyfriend Jack then joined the MCR. Uh, these guys were all just chatting, I was doing my lecture, and then I decided to call it a night. I said goodbye to all my friends, uh, headed back to my place and got an early night ready to start fresh for tomorrow with more work. So that was the video today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video.